Kaluza. I remember Grandma named Kaluza before. Something about fifth dimension. Maybe I'm supposed to do something up there with, or down there with the picture. Alright, so that's like everything. Just in case it's this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Intriguing title. Four volumes about world history. Zedgeist, the book. It's about conspiracies. Wizard Battledom. My grandma used to read me these when I was just a little girl. Psychology. I guess these volumes explains our minds. Geography Atlas. Six volumes in total. Books I had never heard of. Boring. Really interesting books about the universe. Some books about Buddhism, religion. Hmm. What is the next step? Could it be that one of these notes... Ah! A point in space couldn't cast any shadow in the line. Cast a simple dot. Line would be the shadow of a square. I feel like that's telling us how to do the next... How to get through that lock that's outside. I'm guessing that's what we need to do. Unlock the shed. Then we'll probably find something to throw. Okay. I was gonna say break down. And then I was like, whoa. And it turned into throw. <clears throat> no, let's keep it open. Alright. So, alright, I get. Well, I don't get it, but. Let's. Oh, no, we have the note right here. Okay. Point, line, dot, line, dot, line, square. Dot, line, dot, line, square. What the hell? Dot, line. This isn't right. Because it talked about 3D objects, and there's a 3D object in there, but... Dot, line, dot... Di line... Let's look for a square. Square. It's not gonna work. That didn't work. Alright, what did it say about 3D object? Uh... Point in space wouldn't cast any shadow. Then a line will cast a simple dot. A line would be the shadow of a square. So... Dot... Line, square, 3D object, triangle, dot, line, I just got confused. Line, dot, line, square, 3D object, I don't know, I'm gonna pause it until I figure this out. I will be right back. Okay, my reasoning behind this, a 3D object casts a square, casts a line, casts a dot, casts nothing. Let's try it. Didn't work! Back to the drawing board. Uh, this is gonna be... This might take me a little while. I'll be back soon, Jans. Don't worry. Okay, I solved it. So I was definitely overthinking it, because it was saying that nothing is cast by a dot, a line casts a dot, a square casts a line, or a 2D object casts a line, whatever, uh, which comes from square, which a 3D object must be casting a 2D, blah blah blah, you understand, but I solved it. After some attempts. <laughs> Let's go and save. Okay, the way that this game runs is a bit funny, but that's alright. Oh, no, you can open, thank you. Dimensional hammer. Just kidding. Demolition hammer. Mower. I can't reach it. Yay! Should I mow this grass? It's a little bit rusty, but it does the job. Can't use it like that. Can I use it like that? I can't use it like that. Can you use it like this? I can't use it like this. So we know what we're doing with the hammer. What the hell's going on? What the hell? I'm guessing I just can't walk upstairs sideways. 
thought that I was getting like haunted or something for a second. Okay. Use it. Yay! This should work. Hell yes. I'm strong. Hypercube. No way. Dimensional link. In the fifth dimension, time is perceived the same way that in the fourth dimension. That discards the possibility of entities can be reflected in the future, but it is right to think they can see our past as reflections. Although there is no way they can enter in them, just in our present. Also, there is no doubt that they can see through objects. Or in other words, they can see each side from an object without even rotating it. The only thing they need to come here is concentrate energy so they can visualize a point in space, time, and reflect themselves. Obviously, the entity must be in a close distance to perceive the energy that will serve as a link. This will help understand better. Okay, so this is the past. Here's the present. Present is like a hypercube. Sometimes the cube is able to switch to a new position. That didn't make sense. That's okay. It's alright. Hypercube. Ooh, I see what you're trying to do here. Actually, I don't. Okay. Actually, let's, let's quickly try it like this. Didn't work. Alright, before we solve that, which it won't be difficult to solve, we're gonna take a look at what else there is for us. Opening all the windows. Before I can. T no, I don't need to save. Something's gonna happen, right? Feel it. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard boxes. Am I not able to... Okay, I guess they don't tell me anything. Frames! Old wooden frames. That's accurate. <laughs> Turn on. Ooh. Even better, it's the type that's able to shine through people's bodies. I'm not blocking it at all. Alright, so... A circle with a boundary around it. Going to a circle. Going to a circle, going to a circle, going to a circle, to a circle that goes to a circle, over to a whole bunch of circles with one above it, and then triangle circle, which goes back to the. All right, I'm sure. I'm sure all of you understood what that was trying to tell me. I just don't. Uh. Dimensional scheme. In the fifth dimension, they can see all in the lower dimensions. Are they able to see our past or even our future? Alright, so dimension three is up at that top part. Dimension two is over on the side. Dimension one is to the left, and then dimin time or dimension four is down at the bottom. A circle of our visible dimensions and time as we grasp it. It is logically correct to think that a fifth dimensional object can reflect its shadow in our dimension. Okay, so I guess this does make sense, yes. These four dimensions are sort of at a certain level, while the fifth dimension is like above them. Okay. Uh, line, square, three dimensional square, super three dimensional square. Ultra three dimensional square. This is pretty awesome. Alright, so we can. God. Okay, there we go. We can close this. We can open this. Nothing there. It's stuck. It has some scratches. If, if someone wanted to. Something from within desperately. a key. I feel like that hypercube will probably give us something. So there's no way to access that drawer from one of those drawers. Let's go ahead and head back to the hypercube, and even if I can't figure it out, it's got a small enough combination that I'll be able to get it anyway. Those are the 
light switches. Cinder, calm down. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to take some time on this and actually like think about the stuff that I've seen. I'll be back in just a second, y'all. So don't worry.